Hello dentists, how are you today? Today we're going to talk about the difference between hot air oven and the autoclave. Before we start our topic today, I want you to sub subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. Uh, the, today we're going to talk about the difference between hot air oven and autoclave. Let's start. Uh, hot air oven uh, uses dry uh, heat to kill microorganisms and spores. They usually achieve temperatures uh, uh, temperatures of 160 to 180 degrees Celsius uh, but at least an hour at this temperature is required for the procedure to be effective so uh, the hot air oven is kept for one hour working at temperatures 100 degrees Celsius to 180 degrees Celsius 160 to 180 uh, in case of um, uh, autoclaves uh, they use moist heat so the difference between them here, dry hot uh, air oven uses dry heat. In case of autoclave, we use moist heat under pressure for sterilization, and this allows higher temperature to be reached, so reduces the sterilization time. So the time will be reduced and the temperature will be higher. Okay, the higher the temperature, so it's uh, indirectly proportional. The higher the temperature, the less the time. Uh, steam also contracts in volume uh, during condensation, which increases penetration as well as liberates latent heat. So both of these, bo both of hot air oven and the autoclaves, increase the microbicidal activity. Okay, so now we know the difference between hot air oven and autoclaves. Let's go to the next slide. So this is the, the uh, this is the picture of an autoclave. This is how it looks like, and this is a hot air oven. Okay, uh, that was long time uh, that uh, was long time ago, but now this is the more advanced or more uh, a new uh, method of for sterilization. Okay, so here we can see now here this is an instrument. Okay, it's well. Uh, uh, packed ster uh, for sterilization okay on this packet we write uh, the date of sterilization and uh, the date of expiry which takes on almost one month okay methods for of sterilization here we have this hot air oven this is how it looks like dry heat sterilization is usually carried out in hot air oven which consists of the following an insulated chamber uh, surrounded by an outer case containing uh, electric heaters, a fan, shelves, thermocouples, temperature sensor, door locking controls. How to how the autoclave achieves sterilization? Can you see here? This is uh, uh, an autoclave, okay? And uh, these are the temperature. Okay, let's see now. If we adjust the temperature. At 100, if we adjust the autoclave at 121 degrees Celsius to 124 degrees Celsius, so we adjust it for 15 minutes. Okay, so it will be kept working for 15 minutes. So the air instruments will be placed for 15 minutes. If we raise the temperature to 100 from uh, from this temperature to 134 degrees to uh, 137 degrees for uh, three minutes so the uh, instruments will be kept in the autoclave for three minutes so as we raise the temperature we reduce the time when we reduce the temperature we increase the time okay so this is considered to be as we said inversely proportional so this increase this decrease Methods that are used to test working effectively. It's very important to know the mechanical indicators on machine. Example: temperature uh, and pressure dials will tell you will tell you when ap appropriate settings have been reached. So this is the first thing. The first, uh, second thing is the process indicators are paper stripes or, or liquid that change color when they have been exposed to appropriate settings. They will not will not 
uh, they will not prove that there are no pathogens remaining just the appropriate conditions were reached okay so here we have uh, we talked about two methods here methods that are used to test an autoclave is working uh, effectively mechanical indicator okay and the second thing is the, the process indicator so the third type here which is the most common uh, the biological indicator prove that sterilization has occurred this is really important okay this is used for autoclaves uh, very important method for testing the how uh, if it's good if it's functioning well or not they contain ba uh, bacterial spores which will lose their viability uh, if the appropriate cycle conditions are reached the indicators are removed from the autoclave and are cultured if the spores are viable then the autoclave is not achieving sterilization so let's see here so here we have we said we talked about the three methods for uh, sterilizations mechanical indicators which is considered not an indicator for sterility chemical indicators is not an indicator for sterility the only method which is an indicator for sterility is the biological indicator which demonstrates bacterial spores on test strip stripes uh, or strips or in vial containers have been killed and result is available in one hour okay i hope that today's topic was of 